Hello friends, myself Uddesh and today we will see about the conversion of context free grammar into push down automata that is the CFG to PDA. Let's discuss from the example we will learn the concepts of conversion of CFG into PDA with the help of the examples. This is the first example design a PDA that accepts a language A rest to N, B rest to N where N is greater than or equal to 0 over alphabets A and B. Let's start with the first step. Step 1. First, it is not the it is not given in the context free grammar. So we have to convert this given language into context free grammar. That is the convert the given language into context free grammar if it is not given in the form of context free grammar. So first of all we will write language accepted by the given a s to n b s to n put n as 0 then we will have epsilon as a string and as a 1 then we have a b as a string if we put 2 then we have a a b b and so on infinitely so this is what the language accepted by uh, this is what the language given <coughs> sorry now assume s as a starting production symbol and with the help of that, we can write the production rules as S gives AB or ASB or Epsilon. This is now we have the we have converted the given language into context free grammar. This is the form of context free grammar. Now see how to convert CFG to PDA. Here, step two. Write transition rules for non-terminals in the production rules of CFG. So, in the PDA, we need the transition rules and in the CFG, we have the production rules. So, we have to write the transition rules for non-terminals from the production rules given in our CFG, that is the context-free grammar. So, here it is first transition rule that uh, if we are in, on the state Q, our stack is empty, oh sorry, we have the empty string and our stack top is s then we have the following productions as it will give a b a s b or epsilon this is the first one and now step p same for terminal ones right transition rules for terminals in the production rules of cfg so we have here the two terminals that is the a and b Therefore, the transition rules for A and B are if we are on the state A, we have string A and stack top A, then just pop out that A from the stack. And if same in the case of B, if we have B as a string and B as a stack top, then pop out from pop out that B from the stack. So, friends, these two steps, step two and step three, are the most important in the conversion of CFG to PDA because these are the defining factors or the defining steps in the conversion unless of these two steps you cannot proceed forward so step 2 and step 2 clear now step 4 step 4 the writing of that uh, PDA in the given form of the tuple representation so we have the tuple representation of PDA as Q summation del Q0 tau Z0 F where Q is the starting state summation is the input that is the AB del is the transition function Q0 is the initial state tau is the stack symbols that is the AB and S Z0 is the stack top and F is the final state so here we have the transition functions of the transition rules as del of q epsilon s gives a b a s b epsilon del of q a a gives q epsilon del of q b b gives q epsilon so this is the representation of the pda in the form of tuples now the, our last step will be the hand run example step 5 is the hand run example so it is most important in the conversion that uh, we have to check whether the given string or the given uh, required language is accepted by our PDA or not 
for that we have here taken uh, just a random example that is the ABA absolutely this is not the string which will be accepted by our this PDA but just check whether this P, uh, language is accepted this string is accepted or not so first we have the condition that we are on the state 2 and the have string a b a and our stack top is s so we use the production rule as del gives q epsilon s gives a s b therefore we have here q on the right hand side of the production that is a q a b a and a s b now look at the both two terms on the rightmost side that is the a b a and a s b in that for both we have those initial symbol as a so in the next production we'll use the pop operation for a use the production rule as del q a a gives q epsilon means here we have the string a and stack top a then we have to pop out that a understand these tips guys here we have the stack top as a string as a then pop out after that one uh, see in the right side we have the remaining one q that is we are in the same state q and our string remains b a and our stack remains s b so here the stack top will be s now the same condition in this uh, if we have the stack top as s then we can use any of the production of the starting rule that is the starting production symbol so here del gives q epsilon s gives epsilon so that why we have chosen these give uh, production as gives epsilon because we have to check whether the given string is accepted by our PDA or not and for that we have to eliminate just both the parts that is the stack top and the uh, string if we can nullify or if we can pop out both the string as well as the stack top then it will be accepted and or and else it will be not so here we have the string remain as b a and our stack is s b if we use the another production then it will be tedious task to solve the example further or it will it may not get solved so we have chosen the production as b epsilon so that our the remaining in the right side we will be q b a and b so now here we have again the string as b a and the stack top as b so use the pop operation and the production rule as del q b b gives q epsilon means we have to pop that both the b from uh, b from stack and remove that b from string so we have q a and epsilon here a is the remaining string epsilon is the stack which is empty now and now we will check further for the transition of we are on the state q we have the string a and our stack is empty but we don't have any production or the any transition like uh, for the epsilon for the empty st uh, empty stack therefore this string will be rejected means it is proved that our PDA only accepts the a a a rest to n b rest to n and it falls for the string a b a so therefore our string a b a will not accept by the given PDA as it accepts a rest to n b rest to n so we have successfully drawn a con uh, constructed a PDA which accepts the language a rest to n b rest to n and so it is the conversion of CFG to PDA. Listen guys, some important tips. In the conversion of CFG to PDA, if we are given the CFG directly, then it is, uh, then we have to proceed from step two. If it is not, then we have to start from the step one. That is the first of all, we have to convert that given language into CFG. That is the context free grammar and then we have to convert that into PDA this uh, what I have told earlier in this video is the most important from the point of view of a theory exams so you have to follow all the steps for the conversion of CFG to PDA to score well 
and don't forget to give the hand run example it will be the most important and it is the deciding factor that whether you are choosing uh, whether you have constructed a right pda or not we have to demonstrate that with the help of the hand run example so let's revise quickly all the steps first of all we have to convert the given language into context free grammar then we have to in the step 2 we have to write the production rules or the transition rules using with the help of production rules from the cfg for non terminal ones after that in the step 3 the same we have to write the production rules for sorry we have to write the transition rules for the terminal ones in the step 4 we have to write the pda representation using the tuples and now last in the step number 5 we have to prove from taking an example that is the hand run example which will be the last step for the conversion of cfg into pda if you follow all these you will definitely score well and guys if you like the video then don't forget to like and subscribe thank you